Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set says that Yashi keeps coins in five different piggy banks, which she bought from different shopping malls. So we have piggy banks, shopping malls, and each of the piggy banks contains coins of different denominations. So one thing is the third parameter is denominations, and uh, it is given that she purchased two piggy banks, one each from Pacific and MGM malls, basically giving the list of names of malls also. And one of the piggy banks is white. So we have other thing which is the color. So we have four parameters. One is piggy bank. Okay, uh, piggy bank. Uh, they are identified by the color, and they are from different shopping malls. They have denominations and the amount in them. So we are given that there are totals of one forty, one fifty, one sixty, one seventy, and one seventy five in these piggy banks. And the coins she kept were in denominations of one, two, five. 10 and 20 rupees okay so uh, here numerical data is involved so let us arrange them in the order of uh, the amounts in them because there is some information like less than 175 right and uh, uh, 20 rupees more etc so we can use those information accordingly okay so uh, we have the numbers as 140 One fifty, one sixty, one seventy, and one seventy-five. So this is the amount, and the denominations are one, two, five, ten, and twenty. Then we have the mall from which they are purchased and the color of the piggy banks. So we need to map these information and answer the questions. Now uh, the thing that we will start with is one thing to note here is denomination should be a factor of the given numbers for example we cannot divide 150 by 20 okay so we will accordingly write the possible denominations let us not write all the cases let us try to fill the information which is available with us and then we will eliminate options using the information that the denomination should divide the total amount okay so let's begin with the information it says there are 150 in the piggy pink piggy bank So one fifty, the color is pink, and it contains coins of a higher denominations than the one brought from City Walk, which is not the piggy bank that holds her two rupees coins. So all negative information, right? So we cannot proceed further. Let us just keep it pink and move on. The green piggy bank contains less than one seventy five and does not hold rupees five coins. Okay, so green is less than one seventy five. We'll again fill it later. The coins in the blue bank have an even number denominations. So, what are the even number denominations? Two, ten, and twenty, which is a lower denomination than the ones in the piggy bank purchased from MBMs. Since it has a lower denomination than something, so it cannot hold twenty. It can have either two or ten. Okay, so that is also done. The piggy bank with twenty rupees coins has more money in it than the bank with the Rupees five coins. Now twenty rupee coins, we can have one forty or one sixty rupees. Okay. Now it has more money than the five rupee coins, so we cannot have twenty over here. We will have twenty over here. Now five rupee coins can be one forty or in one fifty. Okay. So that is done. Now one thing to note here is if five rupee coin is in one of these two. Then one seventy five has only one possibility because it is divisible by one and five only because it is not divisible by two, not divisible by ten, not divisible by twenty. And five is this side less than it says that twenty rupee coins has more money than the bank with the five rupee coins. So definitely it will be one rupee denomination. So we have filled two kinds of denominations. We are yet to fill three more and of course mapping the mall and the colors. the yellow bank which is used to st store coins yellow bank has coins of one of the lowest three denominations so basically 1 2 or 5 contains 20 more than the bank from dlf now we have a numerical logic that it should be 20 more so one pair of 20 more is 140 and 160 another pair is 150 and 170 okay so yellow bank it is talking about right and it has one of the Lowest three denominations, so we cannot have one sixty as yellow because it should have that one of the lowest three denominations. Hence, 
the pair that we are talking about is 150 and 170 okay so 170 is yellow and it has one of the lowest three denominations we know we cannot have 5 over here because 5 is on this side and 1 is already taken so it has coins of rupees 2 it has coins of rupees 2 and it is mapped with 20 rupees more than the coin uh, the bank from dlf so 150 is from dlf mall okay now we are left with two denominations 5 and 10 between these two okay so we'll figure out later now we will see uh, the other information also so we'll revisit the points 150 in the pink piggy bank which contains coins of a higher denomination than the one bought from city walk okay so city walk will have lower denomination we do not know yet that whether it is 5 or 10 the green picky bank contains uh, 175 uh, less than 175 does not hold 5 rupee coins so it could be anything then we have the coins in the blue bank are even numbered okay and less than so we were taking it is either 2 or 10 now 2 is already yellow so blue bank will have 10 rupee denominations now we know that this bank is pink in color the 151 so 140 will be blue in color and it will have 10 rupee coins so even denomination satisfied less than the ones from mbn small so it is less than the one from mbn small so that means mbn small is this 20 rupee coins right so 20 rupee coins the piggy bank in which she keeps 20 rupee coins so this is also done now green piggy bank is less than 175 so it has to be green and there is one color explicitly mentioned here that is white so this color is white now we need to find the malls of these three let's just revisit pink piggy bank higher denominations than the one from city walk so this should be higher than city walk and city walk does not hold not the piggy bank for two rupee coins so the one pink piggy bank has five rupee coins so it, it is greater than two and one two cannot be city walk so one has to be city walk Okay, uh, now we have used all the information. You can just revisit, no information is left with us. So, this is the table that we have done, and there will be two banks, uh, two uh, piggy banks for which we cannot determine the malls. And those two piggy, the malls that are given here are Pacific and MGF. So, one is Pacific or MGF, MGF or Pacific. The rest of the malls can be determined. So the first question is the piggy bank that contains 140 has coins of which denomination? So 140 has 10 rupee coins. How many coins are there in the piggy bank purchased from DLF? So DLF has 150 amount and 5 rupee coins. So there are a total of 30 coins in it. The blue, blue piggy bank was purchased from, for blue we cannot find out which bank, which mall it was purchased from. What is the color of the piggy bank containing 20 rupee coins? So 20 rupee coins are in the green piggy bank. And the last question is how many coins does Yashi have in total? So total number of coins, we will divide the amount by the denomination. So first is 14 plus 30 plus 8 plus 85 plus 175. Okay, 175 by 1 is 175. So this totals are 260 then 260 plus 30 is uh, 290 298 312 points so she has a total of 312 points so this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions